of a century at the highest level. The former Great Britain and England great passed away with Covid in 2021 and Dewsbury and Bradford will play for the Jeff Gresham Memorial Trophy at the Flair Stadium this afternoon. Lily gets booked to ball, we're up and away here, Dewsbury 10 metres out from the road try line as we see the ball go from Reese Butterworth to one of those new Dewsbury signings, Elliot Morris. He'll carry the Rams outside their own 10. Here goes Ferguson, the Scottish international, carries Dewsbury. 20 out from the own try line. It's good to have Rugby League back. Welcome to West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. It's Dewsbury against Bradford here at the Flair Stadium. And already Dewsbury looking to set a strong stall out here as they move the ball 10 metres shy of the halfway line. Butterworth sitting there at dummy half, looking to Marshall. He's forwards, referee Cameron Worsley said there's a little bit of entanglement that's gone on there between Fenton Rogers and Reese Butterworth. So he's going to allow him to play the ball. And they're on the last tackle here, the Dewsbury Rams. And they found themselves pretty much on halfway. Ball goes back from Butterworth to Turner. Turner kicks down town. That one's dealt with by Jack Walker. And Jack Walker's first taste of action in a Bradford bullshit is to be brought down in a tackle by Tom Wilkinson and Brad Graham. Bradford up to their own 30 metre line here. Moving the ball now with Ben Blackmore, the former Dewsbury Rams winger. Now at Odsall, playing for the red, amber and black of Bradford. Lillian at dummy half. Goes short side to Brad England. England's five shy of halfway. Lily now back down the middle here with Rogers, the Huddersfield Giants, Lorne. But that's a crunching, thunderous tackle led there by Reese Butterworth. Bradford move the ball now with Chester Butler. They're inside the Dewsbury half. They're on the last tackle. It's going to be a kick from Tom Holmes. Holmes goes long and high. That one goes deep down towards Owen Restall. And Restall takes that one from the clouds and he'll have tackle one 10 metres out from his own try line. So if you're just joining us, it's Dewsbury against Bradford here at the Flair Stadium. Pre-season game number two for the Dewsbury Rams. Pre-season game number one for the Bradford Bulls. And it's Dewsbury nil, Bradford nil with two and a half minutes gone on the clock. So, will 2023 be the year of the Bradford Bulls? Certainly after a disappointing season last term Bradford supporters just want a team to be proud of a team that is competitive a team that plays with heart and delivers moments of joy rather than grey moments of unrelenting gloom you think back to Newcastle away last season and you think back to those depressing away games against Batley as Foggy Johnson returns the kick here from Callum Turner 20 metres out from his own try line there's holding down in the tackle, zero tackle, set restart given to Bradford, the first of the new season. Just a little bit of laying on in the tackle there from Callum Jordan. So Bradford will benefit with a clean set of six. And they're up to halfway here with Jordan Lilly moving the ball here to Holmes. Holmes out wide to Fogging Johnson. Fogging Johnson wrapped up there by Carr on this main stand side. The 10 metres inside the Dewsbury half of the field. Kieran Gill now to Wallace. AJ Wallace, the former Castleford man, he's 30 metres out from the Dewsbury line. It goes through quick hands from Lily to Foster. Brad Foster, the former London Broncos man, he's 20 metres out here now. Centre field position, last tackle. Holmes floats the ball out to Foggy Johnson. Foggy Johnson against Carr. Carr kicks it through, sorry, Foggy Johnson kicks it through to Kieran Gill. Gill's over the line for Bradford's first try, but he's offside. He's inside the 10, says Cameron Worsley. He gets the call from the touch judge. It was quick play there on the last. There was a bit of hesitancy in the Dewsbury Rams defence, almost expecting Tom Holmes to put the kick in. He hesitated, dummied the kick, floated the ball instead to Foggin Johnson. Johnson drew in car. Foggin Johnson's diagonal kick on the inside for Gill. Gill touched down but he was inside the 10 and the touch judge and the referee disallow an early try to the Bradford Bulls we've had four minutes gone on the clock here at the Flair Stadium West Yorkshire Radio West Yorkshire Rugby League it's good to be back as Reese Butterworth goes out of dummy half comes back down the middle here with Ronan Dixon the former York City Knightsman so the two metres inside Bradford territory here the Rams Butterworth once again 
Moves the ball over on this right hand side. This time with Tom Wilkinson. He was a close season signing from Hulkingston Rovers. He'll play the ball under pressure from AJ Wallace and Chester Butler. And they're on the last tackle here, the Rams. 35 metres out, centre field position. Butterworth to Turner. Turner kicks to look to track Walker. Walker shifts across, takes that on the full. And Walker now will meet those black shirted Jewsbury Ram players 10 metres out from his own try line. Lillian again at dummy half. Good fast hands, good fast ruck here, early doors. As Bradford move the ball up to their own 20 metre line. Glorious conditions here in Jewsbury. The sun shining, real crisp winter's afternoon here. Keithley beating Newcastle Thunder yesterday by 24 points to 12. A number of games taking place this afternoon. We'll certainly try our best to keep you updated as Lily kicks out a dummy half early in the count. He looks for the 40 20, does Jordan Lily, but I just think he was ever so slightly past the 40 metre mark and he's turned the Rams around. A clever kick early in the count. It's not quite a 40 20, it's more like a 45 15, but it will give Jules Britt head and feed at the scrum here, a centre field position. And with six minutes gone, it's Jewsbury Hill Bradford now. So, Callum Turner now to Morris. Morris. Join the Rams alongside Matt Garside from the Halifax Panthers. Jewsbury now. Two tackles in. Ten shy of the halfway line. Here goes Callum Turner to Ferguson. Ferguson to Butterworth. And Reese Butterworth was not expecting that pass there from Callum Turner. And that one has gone on the ground. That's Jewsbury Rams' first error in possession. And that's going to give Bradford now the scrum 40 metres out from the Jewsbury Rams try line. Well, certainly, when we spoke with Bradford CEO Jason Hurst finishing ninth. Unacceptable. Bradford's goal and aim for this season. A top four finish that will tick the IMG criteria to be eligible for the on-field performance. From the scrum, a Jewsbury player has kicked the ball and it's gone right up to halfway. Miles Lawford, he was on hand to avert the danger. And Bradford now behind where the scrum actually took place on tackle number two. Very rare you see that, perhaps a little bit of rustiness there. As Lily now goes scampering and really takes the balls deep into the Jewsbury half of the field. 15 metres out now from that Jewsbury line. A good, clever passage of play from Jordan Lilly as Fenton Rogers, his fourth carry inside seven minutes. And he's brought down 10 metres out from the Jewsbury line. The ball's going to go to Foster. Foster's wrapped up. Bradford on the last tackle now, five metres out. Lily to Holmes. Holmes to Walker. Walker floats it out to Foggy Johnson. Back to Gill. Gill to Holmes. Crossfield kick from Holmes. Jewsbury concede the goal line dropout. That was lovely build up play from the Bradford Bulls, keeping the ball alive. And it was the winger Perry Lickley on the far stand side. He come across because waiting under that crossfield kick from Tom Holmes were Ben Blackmore and Jaden Myers. And that was clever, clever play from Jack Walker and Fogging Johnson. Jewsbury now have kicks the ball out on the full. And it's a penalty to the Bradford Bulls underneath the Jewsbury Ram post. We're not going to go for two points, it's pre-season. <laughs> Couple of supporters uh, with an air shot say, will they go for two? Captain Jack Walker, in the absence of Michael Lawrence, just says we'll have a couple of conservative drives before the fancy flare stuff. Lily now, out of dummy half, misses out England, finds Miles Lawford. Good scrambling defence here from the Jewsbury Rams, keeping the Bulls at bay. The 10 metres out to the right hand side of the post. Back they're going to come with Fenton Rogers, carry number five of the game. Really, really getting a lot of attention, attracting a lot of black Jewsbury shirts. 
The five out from the Dewsbury line. Lily now to Walker. Walker to Foggy Johnson. Foggy Johnson twisting, turning. Can't get past Lewis Carr and Callum Jordan. He'll take the tackle two metres out. Gillen at dummy half. Gives the ball to Wallace. Wallace fronts up. Wallace, legs motoring. He's held up over the Dewsbury line. He's held up on his back there. Good scrambling defence from George Collins and Ronan Dixon. Bradford go back to the 10 metre line and this is the fifth and last. Once again, Holmes, Lawford, Lawford, crossfield kick over the top. Dealt with there by Perry Whitley and Perry Whitley is trapped in goal. And that was clever play from Miles Lawford. Loud cheers from the large travelling contingent of Bradford supporters here this afternoon and that was Jaden Myers and Ben Blackmore trapping Perry Whitley in goal and it's back-to-back -back sets here for the Bradford Bulls good little build-up of pressure here which will please head coach Mark Dunning so we're back underway here Callum Turner this time keeps the ball in the field of play dealt with there by Tom Holmes speaking to both Mark Dunning and Liam Finn prior to the game both coaches a little bit apprehensive Looking forward, but when we say apprehensive, their number one wish is to come through unscathed. They don't want any injuries in game number one and two. As a big, strong carry, he's going to see the Bradford Bulls over the line, and it's the first try, and it is going to be Brad Foster, and it was a bullet pass from Lilly. Foster had the leg bleed. He's taken four Dewsbury Rams players over the line, and he's crashed over to the left-hand side of the post. 11 minutes gone on the clock. Bradford met that building of pressure, the momentum bubbling and building and burning. And Brad Foster, well, he had the leg drive, he had the power, and his dexterity got him past those four Dewsbury defenders. And it's the Dewsbury Rams nil, the Bradford Bulls four here. And it's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Miles Lawford will attempt the conversion attempt here. New signing, Brad Foster. He'll be happy with that opening score. So too will Mark Dunning. That the goal line dropouts, the repeat sets. Well, it's pre-season, so we're not bothering with a kick predictor at the moment, but Miles Lawford from in front. One from one for the young Bradford homegrown star. And it's Dewsbury Rams nil. Bradford Bull six here at the Flair Stadium. 12 minutes gone on the clock. Shout out to Carlo, says great to hear the dulcet tones here in Italy, go the Bulls. Shaz Louise says come on the Bulls. Kev says afternoon all. Philip Simpson says it would be a good start to keep any errors to a minimum. Currently, Philip, the Bulls are on no errors. Shelby says, come on your balls. Claire says, hi Mick, come on your balls. A lot of people listening this afternoon. Andy Bulls says, great try. Well done, Brad. So we're back underway here. At the Flair Stadium. Fenton Rogers going through a lot of work early goals. And Bradford have come up with the error there at dummy half. And now Chester Butler has had something to say to referee Cameron Worsley and Bradford have conceded the penalty for dissent. That was something that Mark Dunning said he was looking to stamp out of his side based on last season, especially when you look at the average penalties per game of nearly eight penalties a game being conceded. Far too high if you're going to have a successful season. Here come the Dewsbury Rams though. They're now 10 metres out from the Bradford line, looking to get a try back after that try from Bradford Bulls debut. Or should I say debutant, Brad Foster. Dale Ferguson, five metres out now. Butterworth in at dummy half. It goes to Turner. Turner floats the ball to Morris. Morris wrapped up five metres out underneath the Bradford post. Good defence there from Jordan Lilly. Butterworth once again gives it now to Collins Collins to Wilkinson Wilkinson's brought down and Dewsbury on the last tackle here a good dis scrambling defence from the balls and Kieran Gill wraps up Callum Jordan it was a lovely short play move there from Reese Butterworth 
Everybody thought the ball was going into centre field where there was a lot of heavy congested traffic. Butterworth fooled everybody and all up pass out the back to the right on this main stand side. But Kieran Gill was alert to the danger and he has kept the Bulls on the sorry, the Jewsbury Rams on the zero, the Bulls on the six. Harry Crossland, good afternoon, he says, listening from Driglington. Got people listening from Manchester. And a couple of people listening from Spain. Bradford now. Shy of the halfway line. 14 minutes gone here at the Flair Stadium. Lily once again straight out of dummy half to Holmes. Holmes kicks early in the count. He's going to turn around Lewis Carr. Kieran Gill chasing. Holmes chasing his own kick. And I tell you what, Tom Holmes bringing down Lewis Carr. Lewis Carr's tackled. Two metres out from his own try line. And referee Cameron Worsley is saying, you've got to go back and play the ball where you were tackled. So, an early kick. Clever invention there from Tom Holmes. For those that know the stadium here, Bradford playing towards the small banks of terracing, the scoreboard end. So Dewsbury on tackle three now, 20 out from their own try line. Once again, Jordan Lilly. Like a little Yorkshire Terrier there in defence. Callum Turner drops the shoulder, looks to offload the ball. Wrapped up there by AJ Wallace and Brad Foster. They're on the last tackle here, the Rams. 25 out from their own try line. Play the ball from Turner. Collins is going to kick straight down the throat of Walker. Here goes Jack Walker on debut for the Bradford Bulls this afternoon. Decides to give the ball to Ben Blackmore. Blackmore now up to halfway before he meets his former teammates, Reese Butterworth, in a three-man tackle. He'll play the ball here, Will Blackmore. Holmes. To England. Third penalty of the afternoon. That's gone the way to Bradford because Dewsbury offside inside the 10. Centre field position here, Jordan Lilly. I think he's just going to... Uh, Advance the Bulls 10, 15 metres or so to around the Dewsbury Rams 20 metre line. Jaden Myers will tap the ball. Well, Bradford's last game was the 34 all draw at Odsall against Greece in October. What a game that was. Here we go. 6 0 the Bulls lead here after that early try from Brad Foster. Fenton Rogers carry number one. Five metres out, Fenton Rogers making a lot of metres here. Here goes Holmes, Holmes to Lawford. Lawford a short ball, Bradford trying to crash over the line, they're a metre shy. Lawford's in there at dummy half. Lawford tries to pinch one out of dummy half. Lawford, door slam shut. Good scrambling defence there from Ronan Dixon and Reese Butterworth. He'll play the ball with Lawford. Centre field now to Holmes. Holmes decides to give the ball there towards Fenton Rogers, who's going through a lot of work. Last tackle now for the Bulls. Holmes, Walker. Walker's come up with an error there under pressure. Second error of the afternoon. And it's just getting a little bit touchy out there on the field. Something's happened on the floor between Ronan Dixon and Jack Walker. And referee Cameron Worsley is just going to stop the clock here with 17 minutes gone. So two errors apiece here. And referee Cameron Worsley will just take a report from the touch judges. I think he's just going to warn Jack Walker about his conduct. You've come up with the error. Yes, there's going to be a bit of a seeching uh, and a bit of silliness in the afters there's just no need to react like you did well it's still going to be 13 against 13 it was something untoward penalty to Jewsbrick for Jack Walker pushing Callum Turner into touch and Jewsbury now will have a bit of respite and they'll move the ball up towards their own 30 metre line well, it's good to hear so many people enjoying the commentary. 
Keith Farrell, Mick Dobson, Collins joining us from Ulverston. Sue's joining us from Ipswich. And now Bradford have conceded back-to-back -back penalties here. Brad England going in over the top there. Tom Wilkinson caught high. Three penalties apiece. Referee Cameron Worsley stopping the clock. Not happy with Brad England. Bradford just want to be a little bit careful here. Bit of old discipline creeping in. They lead the Rams by six points to nil. 18 minutes gone on the clock here. Callum Turner now kicks Dewsbury deep into the Bradford half of the field. Good set of six coming up here for the Dewsbury Rams. It's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Mick the game, call the Gleddle. Happy New Year to listeners new and old. And it's certainly getting a little bit heated up out there on the field. As Jimmy Beckett, the former Hudslip man, comes charging in. He's brought down 25 out from the Dewsbury line. Butterworth to Turner. Turner now to Morris, the former Halifax man. He's brought down 12 metres out under the shadow of the Bradford Post. That's right, we've got silhouettes here on the field. The sun's ablaze. And Dewsbury looking to get back in this game. And that's a good tackle there on Lewis Collinson. So head coach Liam Fing bringing on the changes. Here goes Owen Restall. He joined from Oldham in the off-season. He's brought down five out. Last tackle here for the Rams. Butterworth in at dummy half. He's going to go to Turner. Turner. Too much on that from Callum Turner. A valiant chase on the outside from George Collins. The ball was underneath the black dot in the in-goal area. And Bradford now will have a 20-metre restart. So six tackles set. And that's going to see Lawford. Give the ball towards Gill. Tackle zero. Ten shy of the halfway line. So just a little bit too much on that kick there from Callum Turner. As a lovely offload out the door here. Sees Bradford go scampering inside the Dewsbury half of the field. Brad England to Lawford. Lawford to Myers. Myers is wrapped up and rolled over by Perry Whitley on the far stand side. Quick play the ball from Myers. England in at dummy half to Lawford. Lawford now to Butler. Butler fronts up and he meets Beckett and Collinson head on. The two substitutes interchanges for Rams. Rogers, Holmes, Walker. Oh, Jack Walker beats one back, beats two. He's got the zip and the zag. Floats the ball back on the inside. And Bradford a 15 out from that Dewsbury line. We've had 19 minutes gone here at the Flair Stadium. As Fenton Rogers now carries Bradford two metres out from that Dewsbury line. Fourth tackle gone here, one remaining for the Bulls. Lily to Holmes, Holmes kicks through, looking for Gill. Kieran Gill pounces down, and Bradford's leading try scorer of last season opens his account in spectacular fashion. It was a threadbare kick there from Tom Holmes. It literally went five metres off the boot into the in goal, and it was Kieran Gill who was alert to the danger. He pounced ahead of Restall and Carr. Bradford double their lead here. And it's Bradford 10, Dewsbury 0. And we've just hit the 20 minute mark here at the Flair Stadium. Excellent play there from Tom Holmes. Very, very, very alert. There was a bit of space between Carr, the left winger, and Restall, the fullback. And that's where Tom Holmes kicked into space. Gill. All he had to do was just apply downward pressure on the ball. And despite the attention of Lewis Carr tracking back from this main stand position, there was downward pressure. And Kieran Gill opens his account for 2023. Not, not, not that these tries count when it comes to the post-season stats but certainly pre-season all about the building blocks blowing off the cobwebs getting minutes in the legs minutes in the body this one 15 meters in from this main stand side miles lawford who really came of age in bradford's 20 points to 16 win away to york last season 
he will look to keep his goal kicking record ablaze two from two for Miles Lawford Dewsbury Rams nil, Bradford Bulls 12 here at the Flair Stadium it's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League and we've had 21 minutes gone on the clock just going to take a quick break, we'll be back in 30 seconds So Callum Turner to get proceedings back underway here. Dewsbury nil, Bradford Bulls 12. And Bradford have just come up with the error from the kickoff from Tom Holmes. Well, we've just given Tom Holmes all the plaudits. And then he's just come up with a little bit of a boo-boo. So, an immediate chance, almost like deja vu, after the earlier score from Brad Foster. Scrum to Dewsbury, 15 metres out. Perhaps Tom Holmes thought, you know what, we're looking very good, very fluid in attack. Let's just put a bit of pressure on the defence. I'm sure I didn't, but we'll get to see the Bulls' defence here as it will be thoroughly tested as Callum Turner, the former Newcastle Castleford man, <laughs> threads the ball in, Butterworth out, Collins to Wilkinson, Wilkinson to David Dixon. Dixon's pushed back now. And they've lost 10 metres on that play of Dewsbury. So tackle one, Dixon's playing the ball, 25 out. Butterworth, short ball to Beckett. Keeps hold of possession there, there's Jimmy Beckett. Just inside the Bradford 20 on tackle two. Butterworth now, to Turner, to Collins. Collins to Wilkinson. And on tackle number three, they're playing the ball where the scrum took place 30 seconds earlier. Butterworth now. Down the middle, back with Jimmy Beckett, second carry this set, he's brought down eight metres out underneath the post, Butterworth now, moving the ball on this left hand side, and the Juicy Rams will breach the Bradford Bulls defence, it's Lewis Collinson, he's gone through a hole in the Bulls armour, and that will be a little bit disappointing for Mark Dunning, but the Juicy Rams, they've made the Bulls pay, it was the error from Tom Holmes, from Callum Turner's restart after Kieran's Gills try and the Dewsbury Rams are back in this game 23 minutes gone here at the Flair Stadium it's West Junction Radio, West Junction Rugby League Dewsbury Rams 4, Bradford Bulls 12 and that was Lewis Collinson really exposing a little bit of frailties in Bradford's shifting defence the structure looked good from where we sat but certainly they couldn't shift across in time. And Collinson, he just had too much power, too much pace. There was an almighty gap that was exposed. And Lewis Collinson, he attacking the Bulls line. Callum Turner will attempt the conversion attempt. He was free from four attempts, 75% in Dewsbury's 32-22 defeat. On Boxing Day. So, Callum Turner, just to the left hand side of the post, no mistake, the former Castleford Tigers marksman, and it's Dewsbury Ram 6, Bradford Bulls 12 here, as we hit the 25th minute of this pre-season fixture, a game of course where we remember the late Jeff Gration, MBE, who made over 750 appearances, for Bradford, Dewsbury and Leeds. And the former Great Britain and England, great. Certainly one of those players who showed those leadership qualities. On the restart here, we've made it to tackle number one and we've got a whistle from referee Cameron Worsley. And he's penalising Bradford for stealing the ball here. So, 20 metres out. Dewsbury decided not to kick to touch. Reese Butterworth making 20 metres on tackle one. A bit of contact on the back of Reese Butterworth's head there from Brad England. 
Referee Cameron Wurzel are happy it's legal and fair. Butterworth still holding the back of the head, now comes towards the rook. Play the ball here from Beckett. Butterworth now floats the ball out wide. Chance here for Lewis Carr. Hot potato stuff here from the Jewsbury Rams. Looking to open up the bulls on this right hand edge. It was Callum Jordan who had beaten Kieran Gill and defogging Johnson. But it, the pass to Lewis Carr, it was above the head and it's gone into touch. No real chance for Dewsbury to capitalise on the back of that penalty and ill discipline there. And it's a four for Liam Finn's side. Scrum to the Bradford Bulls, 10 shy of halfway. And we have 12 minutes to go to half time here on West Yorkshire Radio this afternoon. Don't forget at half time, we'll try and give you a lie of the land with how IMG and their reimagination of rugby league um, is going to hopefully revolutionise and grow the sport of rugby league. Bradford don't make it to tackle number one because they've lost the ball here. So we're seeing a little bit of too, a little bit, bit of errors creeping into both sides play. So that's the zero tackle. And here come the Dewsbury Rams here with Joe Summers. He's a big unit. So Summers wrapped up, 20 out from the Bradford line. Here goes Beckett, Beckett wrapped up there by Holmes. Dewsbury getting a little bit of a roll on here. They've got the momentum and ascendancy, one would say. Butterworth now gives the ball towards Restall. Restall brought down there by Walker and Wallace over the Bradford line. We're going to go back to the 10 and it's still Dewsbury 6, Bradford 12 here. Restall will play the ball. Butterworth's in there at dummy half and Jimmy Beckett. He's dropped the ball cold. And that's a fifth error for the Rams. Bradford on three errors. And Shaz has just said in the comments, calm down the balls. And Barbara says, defend the balls and keep calm. Well, they certainly defended and kept calm there. Jewsbury, the architects of their downfall on that set of six. But it will be scrumming and feed to the Bradford Bulls, 10 metres out from their own try line. Mark Dunning yet to make any changes to his Bradford Bulls side in this first half, so certainly he's giving everybody a chance to blow off the cobwebs and just see how much fuel the tank will hold as Jack Walker's caught by a very looking dangerous shoulder charge here. Cameron Worsley not happy, he's going to stop the clock here. Jewsbrick. Sense a bit of concern, Reese Butterworth coming straight over. And we'll see what action Cameron Worsley takes here. David Dixon's being called out. The former Keefley man. I think he's going to just be warned about his conduct and his technique. And was that a little bit of retaliation and retribution for something Jack Walker did earlier in the game? It's just going to be a penalty to the Bulls. So four penalties apiece at this stage in the game. As Lily fires Bradford, just shy of the halfway line. Here goes Jaden Myers. Myers to Lily. Lily to Lawford. Marcus Green has just come on the field. So he's Bradford's first change of this game. And Marcus Green, well, the more you keep looking at him, you're thinking Oliver Wilson before him, Stuart Fielden. He's got a very bright future in this game. And Marcus Green has won Bradford their second set restart because Dewsbury are just laying in on the tackle on the big young forward here. So Bradford back to zero on the tackle count. Five inside the Dewsbury half. Holmes in at dummy half to Lawford. Inside play to Walker. Walker's caught high again. And referee Cameron Worsley now is going to have to take control of the situation because all of a sudden... This game is turning a little bit nasty and spiteful. And Jack Walker's down here for the Bulls. The clock has been stopped. The touch judges come on on this main stand side. And we might see Cameron Worsley taking a little bit of action here. It was Reese Butterworth, I believe, with the tackle. Jack Walker down receiving a bit of medical treatment. But all of a sudden, we've just seen a spate and glut of penalties. The players taking the law into their own hands. And Reese Butterworth just being spoken to by referee Cameron Worsley. 
Yeah, he's going to the back pocket. Reese Butterworth. He's going to be sent to the sending for a high tackle there on Jack Walker. Credit where credit's due there to the match official, 23 years of age, young Cameron Worsley. Left with no option. He has told Bradford that if there's any more silliness and petulance from them, they'll also be down to 12. So Bradford need to keep their cool. So it's the same for both sides. But Dewsbury down to 12 after Reese Butterworth caught Jack Walker high. I think if David Dixon hadn't have gone within the shoulder charge moments earlier, Reese might have stayed on the field. Here goes Walker. Walker through a gap. Zipping, zagging, back on the inside. He's brought down by Beckett, two metres out from the Dewsbury line. Bradford hunting a third try here. We've had 32 minutes gone on the clock. Lily now gives the ball to Brad Foster. Foster, eight metres out to the right-hand side of the post here. As Dewsbury trail by six. Here comes Lily now to Butler. Butler taking four Dewsbury players out of that defensive line. Holmes can spot the gap. The goal left here with Lawford. Lawford to Foggy Johnson. Johnson's upended there by Carr. And Lewis Carr's gone high now on Foggy Johnson. The touch judge has come on again. It's a sixth penalty to the Bradford Bulls. They're already down to 12. Cameron Worsley. He's just going to say penalty to Bradford as Gill takes the penalty. Sorry, Gill takes the penalty. He's tapped the ball, gives it to Foggy Johnson. Foggy Johnson, I do believe, has lost the ball. Kieran Gill's picked it up. He's gone over the line. And referee Cameron Wesley says knock on. So, just to quickly try and describe what's happened. There was a gap on this left-hand side. Holmes spotted it. Went to Lawford. Lawford bullet passed to Foggin Johnson. Foggin Johnson tried to squeeze in at the corner. Pass Lewis Carr. Carr's gone high. Foggin Johnson's saying it's a try scoring situation. It should be 10 minutes in the bin. And whilst the referee's awarded the penalty, the penalty's been quickly tapped by Kieran Gill. He's then gone back to Foggin Johnson. Johnson's lost the ball. Gill's put it down over the line. But of course, the knock on had occurred. So, Dewsbury 6, Bradford 12. Certainly, certainly uh, an interesting first half here. So, Butterworth's in the bin. Here goes Joe Summers on debut for the Dewsbury Rams. Wrapped up there by Green and Gill. Almost sounds like a solicitor company, doesn't it, Green and Gill? Here goes Holmes and Butler in defence. Jack Walker there, captain in the side for the Bulls, just looking at his body language and he's yelling at where the players need to be in terms of what he can see if there's any gaps in the defence. So far so good for the Bulls, Dewsbury trapped inside their own 40 metres. Callum Turner puts boot to ball, down to Jack Walker. Walker takes it on his own 20 metre line, floats the ball in centre field now to Foggy Johnson. Here goes the Wolf, Foggy Johnson's going to be brought down, 15 shy of halfway. And the Wolves enjoying that one. Quick play of the ball here from Foggy Johnson. Lily now to Gill. Gill through a gap. Finds Jack Walker. Jack Walker's away. Jack Walker will score on his debut. And it's just like that for the Bradford Bulls. Kieran Gill with the break initially down the middle. He drew in Owen Restall. And on the outside was Jack Walker. And Jack Walker has gone 50 metres underneath the Dewsbury Pulse and that was electric rugby league from Mark Dunn inside. The Bulls 16, the Rams 6, Reese Butterworth 10 minutes in the bin could prove costly here for the Rams. The Bulls on a roll as we head towards half time. It's Dewsbury 6, Bradford 16. The quality of the footwork from Kieran Gill. The pass, it had to be perfect. The referee was right in line with it. And then Jack Walker, he just had black shirts trailing behind him. A valiant chase, but too much pace as Miles Lawford from in front. Another two points for Miles Lawford. And on West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League this afternoon. It's Dewsbury Rams, 
26, the Bradford Bulls 18. And wait till you watch that try from Jack Walker on the highlights reel. That was something special from Jack Walker. He's made no secrets about where he wants to see his career. First and foremost, with Bradford in the Super League. So, three minutes to go to half time. Reese Butterworth in the bin for that high tackle on Jack Walker. And Walker, he enjoyed that score there. So back on the way with Callum Turner's restart. He goes long and deep towards Kieran Gill, wrapped up by Carr. Gill's going to play the ball, 22 metres out from his own try line. Wallace is in there at dummy half. Here goes AJ Wallace. Wallace, once again, going straight into Wilkinson and Carr. Beckett comes in. There's three Hughesbury Rams players involved in that tackle. As another scamper straight out of dummy half. Sees Bradford just show you halfway as Foggin Johnson's brought down now. Holmes in at dummy half. Misses out Green. Gives the ball to Butler, to Lilly. It goes to Walker again. Walker's away. Gives the ball here to Myers. Myers with the break. The pass has been picked off and inter intercepted by the Rams. And that was a try-saving intercept from David Dixon because it was Jaden Myers who was away. He was flying down the first-hand side and Walker was back on the inside. And it's going to be a scrum to the Bulls because there's just a couple of minutes left in this game. And it's a scrum to Bradford, 20 out from the Dewsbury line. Well, Bradford need to just have a think here because the clock that's counting down, it's not the actual scoreboard clock. So Bradford have got a full set of six here. As Miles Lawford, he will cut through the Dewsbury defence. And Miles Lawford showing that dexterity of boys. He leaves three Dewsbury defenders for dead. And we were talking about the clock that's just hit 40 minutes here. It's only a game, it's not official. And Miles Lawford from the scrum, he has just gone over from 20 metres to the left hand side of the post. And we said it was coming, the momentum was building. We've just seen two very good tries from the Bradford Bulls. As we're into the first minute of time added on at the end of this first half. Well, it's only pre season. Certainly, from a Dewsbury Rams point of view, you'll be a little bit disappointed with the ease in which Miles Lawford threw the dummy and went between Callum Jordan and Lewis Carr there. Owen Restall was still just coming out of the base of the scrum. Bradford looking a lot fitter, a lot faster in 2023. Perhaps this is the season, the year of the Bradford Bulls. And that disappointing 2022 season consigned to the dustbin. Miles Lawford then from in front of the post, about to convert his own try here at the Flair Stadium, which he does. Four from four from Miles Lawford. We've still got time to play at the end of this first half. It's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Jews Ram 6, Bradford Bulls 24. Well, there you go, the half-time hooter. We knew it was imminent. Callum Turner was just about to get the restart underway. But it is half-time here. Actually, that ING update is certainly um, a worthwhile. And, you know, we'll certainly, as the weeks progress, not just on the Bradford Bulls commentaries, because we're covering a heck of a lot of rugby league in 2023, including Super League on Thursday nights. We'll certainly do our best to uh, let you know so we're back on the way here. Bradford will have first use of the ball. Miles Lawford, who scored that eye-catching try on the stroke of half-time, gives the ball to Foggin Johnson. And Foggin Johnson's wrapped up, 10 out from his own try line. So Bradford with first use of the ball in this second half, leading the Dewsbury Rams by 24 points to six. But just to re reiterate, in terms of those ROI pillars, the RFL have clearly said for a number of years now, Every pound that they give, the, they give the clubs in central funding 
they measure that return on investment. So the good news for Bradford, alongside Featherstone, Toulouse, Wigness and Yorkies, Bradford are in that top five. Bradford now up to halfway here with Brad England. Last tackle coming up here. Holmes is in there at dummy half. It goes to Lawford. Oh, Lawford's been body checked here. And the referee's playing the advantage. The referee's playing the advantage as Lawford kicks into Lewis Carr. And Dewsbury could be down to 11 men here. Referee Cameron Worsley's going to stop the clock. Miles Lawford was taken out off the ball here. And he's got a big decision, Cameron Worsley. Reese Butterworth still in the bank. It's been a very, very poor disciplined performance from Liam Finn's side. We know the officials, any contact with by the shoulder to the head, it will be dealt with. And he wants a long conference call here with Lewis Collinson, number 13 of the Rams, who went in there on Miles Lawford. I think he's going to give him the benefit of doubt here, is Cameron Worsley. They'll stay at 12, will the Rams, but it's going to be a seventh penalty. And right at the start of this second half, they have conceded a penalty for that shoulder charge on Miles Lawford. Lawford boots the ball, fires the ball into touch. Bradford purring and humming as Max Clark, six foot six Max Clark, gives the ball to Lawford, to Lily. Lily off the floor to Holmes. Holmes now to Butler. Butler's brought down 15 metres out. He's rolled over underneath the post. Quick play the ball needed, but they're not going to get one. They'll get a set restart instead. There's an absolute shamozzle of players there as Tom Holmes takes the Dewsbury line on. He's five metres out now. Flanagan Jr. is in there at dummy half. Gives the ball in centre field to Lilly. Now to England. Brad England over the Dewsbury line, but he's going to be held up and we'll go back to the 10. So more pressure building here for the new look Bradford Bulls. Dewsbury trying to hold on here. They don't really want to concede right at the start of the second half. England will play the ball. It now goes to Lawford, to Flanagan Jr. Flanagan Jr. has come up with the error there. And that will give Dewsbury a lot of respite there. And it's going to be a scrum head and feed. Dewsbury 6, Bradford 24 here. At the new named Flair Stadium. Well, Dewsbury's next game after this uh, encounter with the Bradford Bulls will be away to Huddersfield in February. <coughs> Bradford's next game against Huddersfield at Odsall next Sunday. That's a game you can listen to live on West Yorkshire Radio. So Mick McGabe, Corner Gleddle here. Happy New Year once again to all our listeners, new and old. And it's certainly going to be an interesting week so when those gradings come out for the weighted grading where the IMG are going to be looking. We know on-field performance is probably going to be weighted as Bradford have conceded a set restart now. Lewis Collins have been held in the tackle. So Bradford have conceded their first set restart of the game. A couple of minutes into this second half here as the sun disc goes behind the clouds and the temperature starts to drop here Jewsbury 15 shy of halfway Sam Day out there at the start of the second half gives the ball there to Summers Summers brought down quick play the ball though from Summers back to Sam Day second spell at the Jewsbury club wrapped up there by AJ Wallace and Jewsbury a penned inside their own half here on the last tackle Callum Turner boots the ball goes high down to Flanagan Jr he's taken over the mantle from Jack Walker in this uh, second half and uh, Jack Walker's done enough as Flanagan Jr comes up with another error here and he's been caught in a big tackle there as Flanagan Jr by Jimmy Beckett gets a pat on the back here from Tom Holmes so a couple of errors from young George Flanagan Jr So scrum to the Dewsbury Rams here, 25 metres out from the Bradford try line, centre field position. Well, if you listen to the uh, interview with Bradford Bulls CEO Jason Hurst earlier, he confirmed the Bulls have agreed a deal with the Rugby Football League for Odsall Stadium. That the Bradford Bulls are now down to a one in eight chance of securing the phase two government funding. As the saying goes, you've got to be in it to win it. 
and a one in eight chance is a lot better than being knocked out at the end of the first phase. One in eight chance. Dare to dream. Bradford now defending on their own 20 metre line here as Dewsbury keep the ball alive, but that's good defence there. Reese Butterworth will be coming back on the field in just a moment. Dewsbury on the last tackle, 10 metres out. Right in front of the Bradford post. Here goes Sam Day, it goes to Callum Turner. Turner kicks into the in-goal area. Flanagan Junior, body on the line, stops the on-rushing Dewsbury attack there of Sam Day and Lewis Collinson, who was chasing Day's kick. And now Dewsbury Ram have, have got the balls penned deep on their own try line here. Second half with the changes that are going to be made, probably a lot less structured, but what you saw in that first half, to say it's the first 40 minutes of the season, will please head coach Mark Dunning. Bradford moving the ball here now with Max Clark, uh, Max, Max, Max Clark, sorry, not Mitch Clark. Max Clark's collided with a Dewsbury player and both players go down here and there might be a bit of a delay in the game here at the Flair Stadium. There's been a bit of a head collision in that tackle, so the referee Cameron Worsley is going to stop the clock here and it remains on the scoreboard. Dewsbury Rams 6, Bradford Bulls 24. We've had six minutes gone of this second half and we are playing for the Jeff Drayshon MBE Memorial Trophy. Good to see Brian Noble here in attendance. So while there's a stoppage in play, let's have a look at some of the uh, the messages. We want to make it as interactive as possible. People saying they thought they were getting rid of the six again this season. No, the six again is still in play. Ellen's asking who's winning. Bradford, 24 points to six. So, Bradford then, back in possession as AJ Wallace makes some metres up to halfway. Miles Lawford kicks straight down the throat there of Owen Restall. That was the last tackle and Bradford were up to halfway. Here goes Restall. Restall now floats the ball out towards Luke Littlewood, formerly of the Bradford Bulls, you might remember. Luke Littlewood gets to his feet, he'll play the ball. Turner. Dewsbury back to 13 men, so 13 on 13. Whilst Reese Butterworth was in the simbing, two costly scores, and it's Dewsbury now asking questions of the Bulls as they get up to halfway. Sam Dane again at dummy half. Go short side here with Joe Summers. Summers, 10 metres carry, five inside the Bradford half of the field, and Joe Summers has lost the ball under a big collision from Marcus Green, and that will see the Bulls have possession, just shy of the halfway line, scrum head and feet, centre field position, we've had eight minutes gone here at the Flair Stadium in this second half, and it's still Dewsbury Rams 6, Bradford Bulls 24. Just to recap, Bradford having 10 players missing through either injury, illness, suspension or awaiting visa clearance and I guess it does highlight how good the Bradford club are at nurturing the young talent. Mark Dunning certainly has named a squad of 25 players for the game against Dewsbury this afternoon with nine homegrown players, 11 on debut and there is a large Bradfordian presence out there for the Bulls this afternoon as Bradford from the scrum now with Holmes to Lilly to Wallace. Wallace, two metres, meant that five metres inside the Dewsbury half of the field. He's rolled over on his back. Lawford's in there at dummy half, appeals for a penalty. Non forthcoming, but he gets a six again. So it's another six again to the Bulls here because Dewsbury are just laying on, and that's the fourth six again now that the Bulls have had. Add that to the seven, uh, seven penalties. That's 11 times the Rams have given the Bulls a piggyback. Liam Finn will not be happy because we've only had 49 minutes of the game gone. Lawford now to Lilly. 
20 metres out from the line as it goes from Lily to England. England runs a good line. He's run his halted. 12 shy of the Rams line as we go back down the middle channel here with Butler. Butler to Green. Marcus Green is upended. Five metres out underneath the Dewsbury post. Lawford to Lily. Lily kicks through for a rundle. A rundle touches down. It's a clean pickup from Joe Arundel. The try's going to be awarded. The Dewsbury supporters and Dewsbury players thought Joe Arundel had knocked that ball on. The touch judge on this main stand side said Arundel hadn't touched the ball and Arundel has scored on his debut. He was a close season signing from the Halifax Panthers. I must say to the naked eye up here, it did look like Arundel had knocked the ball on, but perhaps it was in the act of trying to pick the ball up because you've got the touch judge a metre away from it and he says it was OK. And it's Dewsbury Ram 6, Bradford Bulls 28, Joe Arundel. With Bradford's fifth try of the afternoon here, a couple of metres in from this main stand side. And Miles Lawford now will attempt the conversion attempt. Yet to miss this afternoon. We've just hit minute 50 here at the Flair Stadium. So Miles Lawford, a couple of metres in from touch. Can he pilot the ball between the post? It's just caught the wind and it's curled wide. And here on West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League with Mick the Game, Paul the Gledel. Rugby League's back in season 2023. It's Dewsbury Ram 6, Bradford Bulls 28. Clever kick from Jordan Lilly early in the count. That one just going between Joe Summers and David Dixon on this main stand side. So back underway here with Callum Turner. Deep and long to Holmes. Now to Green. Marcus Green making huge metres forward there. Just pushed back by the shirt. Flanagan Jr. goes in at dummy half. He'll give the ball here to Foggin Johnson. Foggin Johnson brought down there by Ronan Dixon and Sam Day. Flanagan Jr. now to Lilly. To Arundel. Arundel's away on this main stand side. He's still going. He's Joe Arundel. Arundel's brought down 15 shy of halfway. Quick play of the ball. Myers in there at dummy half. Lilly now to England. England twisting, turning. Lovely pass to Lilly. Lilly now to Wallace. Wallace out wide. Bradford have numbers. But the ball's been touched by a Dewsbury Rams hand. And once again, this time it's young Lewis Carr on the far stand side. If that pass sticks, Max Clark is away and he's only got the full back in view. And there's Foggy Johnson on the outside. And that would surely be Clark to Foggy Johnson. And Bradford romping away for try number six. As it is, Lewis Carr is stuck a stray arm out and he's stopped a certain. Bradford Bulls try. Ram six, Bulls 28 here. We've got 29 minutes left on the clock at the Flair Stadium, pre-season game number one for Mark Dunning and the Bradford Bulls. Holmes to feed the scrum. Lawford to take the ball out of the scrum. Flanagan Jr. now. Hop, skip, jump, straight into Callum Turner. And Brad Graham. He'll play the ball two metres inside the Dewsbury half of the field. Lily now to Green. Marcus Green. Huge, huge things expected of the young forward in 2023. As Lawford now to Lilly. Lilly through a gap. Lilly's 25 out from the Jewsbury line. Lawford wants a quick play of the ball. He'll get a quick play of the ball. And Lawford now taking on that Jewsbury Rams line of defence. And he's brought down 20 metres out on tackle number four. One remaining here for the Bradford Bulls. Flodigan Jr. in at dummy half. Said to field now to Lilly. Lilly linking there with England again. England on a lovely angled run. His run is going to be halted though. Big physical presence there from Tom Wilkinson. Last tackle for the Bulls. 12 metres out. They go wide here now with Holmes. Holmes treads one through. Picked up by Flanagan Jr. And Dewsbury have come up with another error here. 
because Flanagan Jr. about to spin the ball out wide to Max Clark. Dewsbury have come up with error number nine of the afternoon. Another scrum head and feet to the Bulls. The Bulls really, really, really putting the pressure here at Rams six. Bulls 28. Shout out to Chris, Andy, Kev. Chris says, glad you're back, Mick. Who's injured in any long term? Well, we'll go through the uh, the full list of the 10 players that are missing this afternoon in just a moment. Bradford do have a scrum. 10 metres out from the Dewsbury Rams try line here. As we see Miles Lawford now float the ball out to Lily. Lily through a gap. Bradford's third try from a scrum and a set-piece player. Jordan Lilly from 15 metres out. He's taken Brad Graham and Owen Restall over the line with him. And that is tremendous work there from Jordan Lilly. It's the sixth try of the afternoon. And this game now is as good as toast. It's Dewsbury 6, Bradford 32. Who knows? I might have said it with a little bit of jest at the start of the show for the Bradford fans. Will 2023 be the year of the Bulls? Who knows? But Lewis Camden coming on alongside Michael Hoyle. So a double substitution for Mark Dunning. Miles Lawford about to attempt the conversion attempts. 10 metres to the left hand side of the post. Well, that's certainly going to give Liam Fink food for thought. The defensive frailties around those set piece plays from the scrum. Jordan Lilly coasting through a gap there. Far too easy for mine. So Miles Lawford about to convert Jordan Lilly's try here, which he does. West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Jewsbury 6. Bradford 34 here. Lawford 5 from 6 and a try. Miles Lawford leaves the field after the conversion. Lewis Camden will take over his place in the halves. And we've still got 26 minutes remaining in this game. Dewsbury 6, Bradford 34, a real strong showing here at the Flair Stadium. A lot of positives to take for Mark Dunning and the Bulls. Foggin Johnson takes tackle, one on the restart. Camden goes in there at dummy half. Well, perhaps we're going to see a little bit of Lewis Camden at nine as Lily now goes into that organising role with Tom Holmes. Michael Hoyle, who's just come on the field, made his debut against Featherstone last season. He carries Bradford an extra 10 metres forward there. Lily now. Holmes. Flanagan. Clark. Max Clark up to halfway for the Bulls. Tackle number four gone here. Bradford two tries in this second half. Arundel and Lily. They lead by 34 points to six. They're on the last tackle on halfway. Camden in there at dummy half to Lilly. Lilly kicks into space, turning Restall around. The former Oldham player decides to leave it for Carr. Carr back to Restall. And Restall is going to be caught high here by Brad England. And it's a penalty to the Dewsbury Rams, 10 metres out from their own try line. Dewsbury's fifth penalty of the game. I know when Restall's just getting a bit of attention here from the Jewsbury Rams physio. So just to quickly recap, those players missing this afternoon, Bodie Thompson on parental leave, Michael Lawrence through illness, Billy Jowett still recovering from his shoulder reconstruction, he's back in April, Jordan Bolwinson out with a calf, George Flanagan still having a bit of niggles with his hand, Kevin Apo waiting visa clearance, George Roby on warm weather training in Malaga with the Huddersfield Giants. And you've got Deck Patton with one game left of his suspension and Eben Skur with seven left. So Patton will use his last game up today. He'll be back next week against Huddersfield. Skur can use two pre-season games, so he will miss the first five of the season. 
Dewsbury then on the back of that penalty award. 30 metres out now from the Bradford try line as they look to get themselves back in this game. Despite that try conceded to Lewis Collinson, Bradford's defence has been there this afternoon as we see Dean at dummy half. He'll give the ball to Brad Graham. Brayham's wrapped up 20 metres out. Day once again in at dummy half, this time towards Collinson. Collinson offloads the ball back to Turner. Turner inside the Bradford half. Turner towards the line. Good tackle from Marcus Green. Turner gets a quick play of the ball in. Dewsbury can smell blood. They're moving over on the far stand side with Elliot Morris. Morris wrapped up by Camden. Ball's gone to ground. Dewsbury have lost the ball, but it's gone back towards their own try line. So they'll play the ball here with Day. Big strong run here from Ronan Dixon. Dixon five metres out. Day now to Morris. Morris trying to crash over the Bradford line from close distance. And that's the last tackle here for the Dewsbury Rams. Day. The kick comes in. It's picked up there by a rondel. And Bradford are away. 25 out from their own line. And now Dewsbury have conceded a penalty for stealing the ball. I beg your pardon, it was Chester Butler, not Joe Arundel. He went hairing away, making valuable metres. The pitch slowly cutting up here, very muddy underfoot, despite the sunshine here. But it's a penalty to Bradford for that ball steal. And Jordan Lilly looks towards me and he's kicked the ball. <laughs> Thankfully, a foot higher. <laughs> The, the roof of the stand, or oh, that might have just snuck under and it might have been heading towards our commentary position here. So Bradford given their eighth penalty of the game. England tackle one inside the Dewsbury half of the field. Here goes Camden. Camden now to Hoyle. Tackle two. Bradford 40 out from the Dewsbury line. Centre field position here with Lilly to Green. Good structure to Bradford's attacking platform. Green carries Bradford, 28 out from the Dewsbury try line. Once again, centre field. Camden goes down the middle. Tackle four, gone here for the Bulls and the 20 metres out. Flanagan Jr. England, Lilly. Lilly tries to go through a gap and something's happened in back play here. Players coming together. Brad England's down on the floor. It's another penalty to the Bradford Bulls. And Cameron Worsley is just going to have to take another report from the touch judge here. Well, it's been a very, very scrappy, sort of edge of your seat kind of game here. Will Adams comes on the field here for Fogging Johnson. Also coming on the field is Bailey Arnold. So big things from Bailey Arnold and Will Adams. Cameron Worsley just having a word, word here with Brad Graham. Well, he's not happy as Cameron Worsley, clearly, but he's going to keep Dewsbury at 13 for now. It's pre-season. We'll forgive the players. Ta poor tackling technique is the word from Cameron Worsley. Improve your tackling technique. So a penalty for Brad. England being taken out off the ball. And here come the Bulls again. A fresh set of six, 10 metres out. Camden to Holmes, to Lilly. Flanagan out wide to Myers. Jaden Myers skips past one, past two. Jaden Myers. Well, I tell you what, if you're ever stuck in a maze, ask Jaden Myers to get you out of it. He beat one, two, three, four, five, six. They're underneath the post here with Camden. Camden trying to get his first try for the Bulls. Push back in the field of play. And that's tackle number three gone. Flanagan Jr. now in at dummy half. It goes to Holmes. Back on the inside to Hoyle. Hoyle's gone without the ball. And it's a crunching tackle on Hoyle. And the chance gone begging there for the Bulls. And that will please Liam Finn. That will please the Dewsbury Rams because they've conceded the penalty for the old discipline. And then they've come up with a good, strong defensive set. And they now will have scrum head and feed at the play of the ball. But yes, just quickly regarding the players that are not playing here this afternoon, Mark Dunning did say that if this was a league game, Bordin Thompson, Michael Lawrence and Jordan Baldwinson would have all featured. But because it's pre-season, 
they won't be risked and they'll be back next week. From the scrum, Dewsbury wraps up five out from their own line. They've gone behind the scrum again because Trevor Arundel has really come firing out of that Bradford Bulls defensive line. Sam Day's in there at dummy half. Dewsbury have a couple of players with no numbers on the back of their shirts, so that's going to make uh, trying to call those players a little bit difficult. Resto lifted above the horizontal, dumped on his back, and that is Lewis Camden involved in that tackle. Not saying Lewis Camden is probably the smallest player on the pitch, is Lewis Camden, bless him. And uh, the referee is saying, because he's been lifted above the horizontal, we'll have a penalty. I think it might have been Marcus Green who was involved in that tackle. I'll tell you what, if Lewis Camden can lift players like that, he wants to be a WWE wrestler. So West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League, just past the hour mark here. At the Flair Stadium, Dewsbury Rams 6, Bradford Bulls 34. Bit of an arm wrestle taking place now. Players pushing and shoving each other. Dale Ferguson's come back off the interchange bench. His second spell in a Dewsbury shirt this afternoon. And he's five metres inside the Bradford half of the field. Day now to Morris. Morris. Thought about giving the ball there towards George Collins. Collins is calling for it. But instead, the ball's going to go with Simon Fruin. Fruin, who's just come on the field wearing 35. He's one of the trialists for the Rams. He's 20 out from the Bradford try line. Here goes Luke Littlewood, once upon a time with the Bulls. Wrapped up underneath the post. 20 out. Last tackle. They're going to go now with Fruin. Crossfield kick. Looking to put a little bit of pressure here on Joe Arundel and Jaden Myers. And Jaden Myers has done well. He's looked like a salmon going up... Up, upstream to spawn and that is a good cool calm collective take there by young Jaden Myers not put a foot wrong here this afternoon it's Rams 6 Bulls 34 if you're just joining us tries this afternoon from Foster Gill Walker Lawford Arundel and Lilly six tries plays one Collinson for the Rams don't forget all the highlights and action will be on Bulls TV at some point in the coming days but here at the Flair Stadium Bradford on the last tackle here with Lilly and another player's been taken out now and it's getting a little bit silly now, I know we're saying it's early season and pre-season but Jordan Lilly looking to put a chip in over the top and it's George Flanagan Jr who's taken one to the chest there he was held back Penalty count now, says Bradford 10, Dewsbury 6. Lily now, into touch, 30 out from the Dewsbury line. Bradford certainly have got more points in them here this afternoon. Arundel's going to tap the ball. And it's 20 metres out now underneath the post. Myers in at dummy half, Lily, bullet pass to Holmes, Holmes back to Hoyle. Hoyle's wrapped up, tackle two, Camden there in at dummy half. Holmes wants the ball on the left, they're going to go on the right, down the middle here with Bailey Arnold. Arnold now to Butler, Butler like a steam engine, still going forward, he's five metres out. And Dewsbury have wrestled the ball here, it's one on one and Lewis Collinson has picked the pocket of Chester Butler. There you go, Dewsbury back in possession but the trail. 34 points to 6 here at the Flair Stadium. In there at dummy half. Fruing for the Rams. This decides to go to the right hand side. Here goes Littlewood. Wrapped up there by Hoyle and Wallace in a two man tackle. A lot of hunger, a lot of effort, a lot of energy in this Bulls defence. And now Dewsbury have gone without the ball at dummy half. And that is going to be a scrum head and feet to the Bradford Bulls. Five metres inside the Dewsbury half. Dewsbury's 11th error of the afternoon. Well, these two teams met twice last year. Bradford winning both games. Here at Dewsbury, an eight-try performance. And a 46-16 win, if you remember. Kieran Gill scoring a brace of tries. Also, Maddie Dawson-Jones a couple in the opening ten minutes. And also in June, it was a nine-try right for the Bulls. Uh, as they had a rare Odsall win in a 48-6 victory with Chester Butler 
scoring twice against the Rams at Otsal. So, scrum here to the Bradford Bulls, five metres inside the Dewsbury half of the field. Another penalty here because there's messing around at the scrum, referee not happy. So, 11 penalties now to the Bulls, and this time Tom Holmes will take over the place kicking duties, and Bradford are 10 metres out from that Dewsbury Rams try line. So a great start to pre-season here for Mark Dunning and the Bulls. We've still got 15 minutes or so to go here at the Flair Stadium. Bradford looking for try number seven and they're on the attack five metres out from the Dewsbury line. Wallace now, it goes to Holmes. Holmes to Lilly. Lilly out wide to Arundel. Arundel, good last defence there from the Rams and the force, the error from Joe Arundel. Just couldn't keep hold of the ball. It was good movement in centre field. A lot of cohesion clearly at play between Lilly and Holmes, but Joe Arundel just met Luke Littlewood and the young winger Simon Fruin, who's been playing in the halves in stages in this second half, head on on this main stand side. And Arundel has come up with what will be error number six of the afternoon for the Bradford Bulls. So scrum head and feed here to the Dewsbury Rams, and it's Dewsbury Rams six, Bradford Bulls 34 here on West Yorkshire Radio this afternoon. Just a quick reminder, we'll be in action next Sunday, Huddersfield, the visitors to Odsall Stadium, that a part of the Michael Lawrence deal. Huddersfield currently training warm weather in Malaga, so I expect the Huddersfield Giant players to be sporting tans. I did ask young referee Cameron Worsley if he'd been out in Tenerife with the referees, but uh, unfortunately, he's uh, a PE teacher, so um, he, he did say that he wanted to go to Tenerife, but he couldn't get the time off work, so as you were. Dewsbury in possession now, moving the ball over on the fast-hand side with Carr. Carr, former Castleford Academy product, dropped up there in a good two-man tackle, led there by Max Clark. Also, Brad England and Tom Holmes involved in that tackle. Well, got number 40 on the field, Jaden Barracuff has just come on. So Mark Dunning bringing more of the young, blooded future Bulls as Dewsbury up to halfway on the last as Collinson's ball has touched the Bradford hand, but it's gone forward first from there to Collinson. Dewsbury a little bit incensed at that. And Miles Lawford's coming back out here on the field. Harry Gray comes on. Also, Kean Fisher, he's 43. He's the young lad from Leeds. He's on a trial and he's immediately going to go in there at dummy half. So let's see if Kean Fisher can certainly uh, stamp his authority and earn a contract. He's in there at dummy half as Barraclough plays the ball. Big strong carry here from Barraclough and he's nearly made 10 metres there as Barraclough. Another six again given to Bradford because Dewsbury just laying on in the tackle. Here goes Harry Gray. Gray's wrapped up 30 metres out. Well, I'll tell you what, the takeaway for the Dewsbury Rams is they're going to have to improve their discipline. Yes, they're not going to be playing a side like Bradford in League One every week, but Bradford really up in the tempo here. And they've got another six again here because there's more laying down in the tackle. As we see a big, strong carry here on Jaden Barraclough. A big hit straight out of that defensive line. Brad Graham, Brad Graham involved in that one as Miles Lawford floats the ball over on that left-hand edge. Good chance here now for Aidan Scully, who's wrapped up. Five metres out from the Dewsbury line. Flanagan Jr. to Lawford. Lawford to Barraclough. Barraclough moves the ball down the middle. He's lost the ball. Another chance gone begging for the Bulls. And in the last five minutes, Bradford have come up with three errors inside that Jews by 20 metre line. So not a polished performance by any imagination as Dewsbury awarded two set restarts in quick succession as they now look to attack the Bradford Bulls. Brad Graham gives the ball here to Joe Summers. Summers floats it out wide here to I think it's Bailey O'Connor. O'Connor's heading towards touch. He decides just to take the tackle, there's Bailey O'Connor. Days in there at dummy half. Here goes Littlewood. Littlewood fronts up here with Fisher. Fisher does well with Gray. Good defence there from young Harry Gray. As Dewsbury now get up into the Bradford's faces up and over halfway. They've offloaded the ball out the back door to Day. Day gives it there to Morris. 
Morris like a man possessed here, takes on Barraclough, offloads the ball, there's Morris, they're still going here, the Jews, but Ramsey are throwing, throwing towards Reston, Reston kicks ahead, ball is live in the goal area, Bradford scramble, they've lost the ball, the Bulls, they've grounded it in goal, and let me tell you, electric play there from the Dewsbury Rams. Well, that certainly got the home crowd here excited off the feet. They've not had too many moments to cheer in this game here this afternoon. But with 10 minutes to go, it's Bradford 34, Dewsbury 6. And now the young Bulls are going to have to do a bit of defending here. Flanagan Jr. Up to halfway, taken by Morris. 20 metres, Meg. No contact, no metres after contact, though. That's a good indicator there, and that's good defence from Bailey Arnold and Will Adams. Bradford now just looking to stem this Jewsby Rams tide of attack. Lewis Camden, Harry Gray, the two Bradford defenders involved in that tackle there on George Collins. Jewsbury now 10 metres out from the Bradford line. Jimmy Beckett carrying Jewsbury within a sniff of the Bulls line. Collins kicks ahead into the in-goal area, chasing his kick, and that's good alert play there from Jaden Barraclough. He turned his defensive line, moving forward towards George Collins, he had to twist and turn and dive on that ball and force it over the dead ball line. It's back to back repeat sets of six for the Rams. Can the Rams do what the Bulls did in the first half, which of course was forced two repeat sets and then come up with a try. Elliot Morris, tackle one. He's brought down five metres after contact. The 25 out here, Day to Beckett. Beckett gives the ball now towards Wilkinson. Wilkinson from Hulkinson Rovers. Wilkinson still going. Ball goes back towards Ferguson. Ferguson back to Day. Day now to Restel. Restel's heading towards the Bradford try line. Arundel comes in with Gray and he's wrapped up there. Is Owen Restel. Two metres out from the Bradford try line. Here goes Sam Day trying to pinch one out of dummy half. He can't get the ball down. Oh, he has got the ball down. Sam Day has got the ball down. There's four white shirted Bradford players there. And somehow, Sam Day has touched down under all that defensive pressure. We were looking at the referee. Everybody was expecting the held up call, the held up signal. But somehow, Sam Day has got the ball down under that pressure of Bradford defence. And that will please the Jews, the Rams and Liam Finn because they've got their second try, their first of this second half. And it is the Jews, the Rams 10, the Bradford Bulls 34. Sam Day, a little scurry straight out of dummy half. And he, showing that dexterity, that never say down attitude. To touch the ball down under the nose of the referee. We're in the 73rd minute here at the Flair Stadium. Callum Turner's off the field, so George Collins will attempt the conversion attempt. Uh, Stewart joining us this afternoon, says great start to the season. Hopefully we can keep it going this year and push for promotion. Good to hear Mick and your dulcet tones back. Uh, James says, bearing in mind the amount of young players in the squad against their first team, we're doing really well, would have just been happy to just get players on the field, but this has been a great performance from our young boys. Shaz Louise says, come on your balls, keep focus. Conversion from George Collins goes between the post and on West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. And for those that are watching this in the future on Bulls TV, it's Jewsbury Rams 12, Bradford Bulls 34. So seven minutes to go here. George Flanagan Jr. gets the restart. Back underway. Could have been a lot more points to Bradford with a bit more composure. Early doors though, like we say, but certainly it has been a promising start to the pre-season. Next week's a totally different kettle of fish. Ian Watson and the Giants bringing a strong side to Odsall for their first game of their pre-season ahead of the Super League, which of course starts a couple of weeks after the Championship. 
Sam Day's in there at dummy half. Here goes Ferguson. Dale Ferguson, once upon a time at the Bradford Bulls, up to halfway. Gets a quick play of the ball in. Sam Day now goes scampering forward. Sam Day through a gap. Sam Day with Flanagan Jr. to beat. Forced out wide. Gets the ball to Beckett. And it's going to be a try here to Jimmy Beckett. And Jimmy Beckett and the Jewsbury Rams go back to back here in spectacular fashion. And that was great alert running out of the rook from Young Sam Day. And Sam Day. Well, I said Young Sam Day. It's his second spell at the Rams. But he had eyes like dinner plates. And he was just plodding his course past the Bradford defenders. And we've just seen the Rams hit the balls with two quick fire tries. It is worth mentioning Bradford, no senior players left out there on the field. It is effectively the Bradford Bulls Academy team that is playing at this moment in time. But credit where credit's due to the Jewsbury Rams. You can only play what's in front of you. And that was great alert running there from young Sam Day, straight out of dummy half. Through the gap, through the space. Drew in Flanagan Jr. And it was an angled run from around 20 metres out for Jimmy Beckett. Can George Collins add the extra two? This one is going to go across the face of the post. And that one's waved away by the match officials. So West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Here at the Flair Stadium, Jewsbury Ram 16, Bradford Bulls 34. So yeah, just looking out there on the field, you've got Harry Gray, Lewis Camden, Jaden Myers, Marcus Green, George Fonagan Jr., Michael Hoyle, Laban Scully, Kean Fisher, Max Clark, Bailey Arnold, Will Adams. It is effectively a Bradford Bulls Academy stroke reserve side, but Dewsbury to the credit, they've not rolled up, they've not waved the white flag. And here goes Elliot Morris now on the restart. Dewsbury are springing the step in the closing moments of this game. The scoreboard looking to get that all more respectable here. As we see another, another strong carry from Joe Summers. Joe Summers is up to halfway. Summers has lost the ball on contact with Camden and Barraclough and Myers. And that's going to be scrum head and feed here to the Bradford Bulls. So those back-to-back -back tries from the Jewsbury Rams. They'll earn the respite and they'll finish the game. Bradford here now with the scrum. Well, Mark Dick Dunning did name a squad of 25 players for the game against Dewsbury this afternoon. We mentioned those nine homegrown players, a large Bradfordian presence. And one thing the Bradford Bulls do really, really well is to continuously produce a good crop of young players. And Mark Dunning has made it his mission to use them in his team. Those young players have to have opportunities at Bradford. And Mark Dunning will certainly give them opportunities this season as he did last season with the emergence of Flanagan Jr., Miles Lawford, Marcus Green. Perhaps it's, it's, it's the turn of Jaden Myers, Bailey Arnold, Harry Gray this year. Who knows? Marcus Green, he's one of those young players who stamped his proceedings on last season. And he's rolled over 25 metres out from the Jewsbury line. Here goes Fisher in at dummy half. Back down the middle it goes as Bradford have 20 out now, centre field position, Fisher's back in there at dummy half, Flanagan Jr, short ball, big strong carry here, Hooter sounds in the background, and that is it, full time here at the Flair Stadium, it was Aidan Scully.